Hello everyone, Brady here from the Brady Brown channel. Welcome to another LSPDFR patrol. We're down here in southern Los Santos, southwest Los Santos, patrolling here at the Los Santos International Airport. We're going to be patrolling this thunderous afternoon uh, down here at the airport, making sure everything's uh, going well down here and make sure no one's getting into trouble. So uh, let's get right on into the patrol. All right, somehow, some way, we got an escaped fugitive on uh, the first on runway one in the airport, and I don't think it's gonna open for us, or we're just gonna burst through that. This one will. So they got an escaped fugitive here on the uh, runway, so we're gonna go deal with that somehow, some way. Uh, looks like they're gonna be in some kind of vehicle. Yeah, it's gonna be in a PT. Be cool. Yeah, he's gonna be in it. With air traffic on the runway. Oh my goodness, he almost ran into that airplane. Hopefully they shut it down. Disable tactics. He's driving a stolen police transport van. with us a little bit. We got one more here. Oh, that unit's just gonna go ahead and take primary. All right. Here, um, one in, uh, if you guys are enjoying your day, I am. It's always fun playing some LSPDFR. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we got one more unit, so we're just gonna go ahead and take them out. Okay. Here, little. Um, the Fanny Mare. Looks like it's occupied two times. I don't know if that is uh, one of our police units taken hostage, possibly. They gave us no information on that. Let's see if we can get him here. Thing just does not want to give. Yeah, it looks like it's a police, a DOC member. That van just doesn't want to budge. At all. It's for explorer. Cannot. Oh, got it. Got it on the curve. Let's take him to the fence. Oh. Let's see if we can get him right here. All right. Box him. Box him! <laughs> Come on! All right. We're going to give... Naval tactics here allow them to do their work, AI to do their work, see if they do anything. Right on the curve. Box, come on, box. All right, it's gonna give up right here. I got lethal. Oh, and it's gonna be actually occupied by two prisoners. I'm gonna keep lethal on this guy. Oh, we got multiple. Got four total occupants. I get them all out. Watch it. We got one. Watch across. I'm gonna get these guys out of the back. I wouldn't try to run, dude. Because I don't have a non lethal on you. All right, we got all occupants on the ground. Let's get you on the ground, dude. Probably should have more units done this, but that's okay. Get this guy into custody real quick. All right, we got this guy custody. This guy in custody. And he might be getting that guy. 
The other officer's getting that guy. All right, we got them all in custody. Oops, did not mean to do that. <laughs> Release, and I'm gonna pat this guy down. This guy, give this guy a pat down. That's a marijuana, white crystal. We're just gonna clean up the scene. I think, and uh, we'll call it code four. I still got this Granger going 31 miles per hour in a 15 mile per hour zone. So we're gonna get up, catch up to him here. And he's tailgating this person. I'm stopped up here. It's going way too fast. Getting stopped. Have a talk with him. Weapon spotted. Oh, ma'am. You know why I pulled you over today? Oh, my goodness, guys. License registration proof for insurance. Trevor's sweating, seems nervous. Chloe suck. Okay. Get a pet check. Valid, no warrants. Okay, let's get the computer pulled up here. Get a license plate check on that. Let's see. Owner, yep, Chloe stuck. Valid, valid, no warrants. Uh, let me actually go back on the computer here real quick and make sure she has, I did not see if she had a valid gun permit. She's on parole. Okay. And her gun permit was revoked. Oh, she was charged with first degree murder. And she has in some kind of possession of a firearm in her vehicle. So we're going to get her out actually real quick we're gonna get a get a unit down here real quick actually yeah before we do that we attempt that i'm gonna get them on scene just so we have uh, backup here she does have a firearm of some kind okay all right we're gonna go ahead and pull her out order her out of the vehicle because she is in possession of a firearm that she's not allowed to possess. Oh, All right, ma'am. I'm going to ask you to put your hands behind your back at this time. If it allows me to. Yep, there we go. Police, hands up now. We spotted a, or I spotted a firearm of some sort in your vehicle. And you are not allowed to possess said firearm. So I'm going to take a look at that real quick. I'm going to move you to the side of the road with uh, my buddy here. Okay, he's kind of out of the rain here. And I'm going to go ahead and get you a pat down real quick. Do you have anything that's going to poke me, stick me, hurt me in any way? And she has a firearm on her. All right, so let's see what the vehicle has in store for us. We're going to search this vehicle real quick. Let's see. A herb grinder with powder residue, a disassembled firearm in the left, left in the open, and an LSCSO business card, a pack of them, and one pound brick of tan powder. Okay. So she's going to be in possession of two uh, firearms. Um one in some way shape or the other uh i'm gonna have my buddy pt her get her out of there because she's in possession she's a felon uh, in possession of a uh, firearm which she's not allowed to have so uh she's gonna be she's gonna be out of here uh i'm gonna get this vehicle towed and sent away here and uh, we'll be code four off that Attention all units, an attack on a motor vehicle on Alto 
Oh, we got a road, ra road rage incident right just right outside of the LSIA airport area. So, in Banning. We're just about Co3 over that way. Slippery, slippery, slippery road because this was rain. Just cleared up. Did not see that car. Oh. Oh, oh, we got shots fired on us here. Shots fired. Got shots fired on us. I'm gonna take cover behind our car here. So ran a vehicle. Take it up. EMS just arriving right in the middle of the gunfight. All right, we got one suspect down. Don't know if that had to do with anything with the incident. It's a pilot. Got a 50 cal. Picked up. Let's see if I. Uh, thanks. Okay. Let's stop traffic completely here. So EMS does not get ran over. This guy just randomly got out of his car. Some pilot did not like, did not have his good day. Oh, he's alive. Oh shit. Well, he's lucky to be alive considering how many nine millimeters just went into his chest. All right, road rage turned into a gunfight. Uh, with just a random person. I'm sure that'll be investigated further by, uh, our, uh, the FIB. And that will be code four off that. And we're just sitting here doing some traffic enforcement and this vehicle's one following this bus way too close, way too close. Plus, it has some illegal underglow on it, so we're gonna get it stopped up here and uh, see what's going on. I don't know where to stop. I just can get stopped up here. Let's see if I can get off the road. And kind of stopped. Let's back up here just in case. Alright, sir. No way I stopped today. Uh, you have some illegal underglow on the bottom of your vehicle. Can I have some uh, license, registration, proof of insurance? Sammy Croft. Sammy Croft. Alright, let's. Uh, See here, police computer. Yeah, just keep an eye out for me. Uh, do this. Let's see, he's on parole. Let's see, he's on parole for destruction of private property. All right. Uh, but other than that, his uh, gun permit's revoked. License is valid. Okay. Let's get the vehicle registration here. Valid, valid. Okay. All right. I mean. So, I mean, nothing further. We'll just uh, give him a theoretical fix-it ticket, and uh, he'll be good to go. All right, sir, just uh, make sure you get that uh, removed. It's not allowed here, all right? Or uh, if you want to use it, don't use it while you're on the road, all right? You have a good one. Well, I'll be code four off that. All right, so we got a call of a, uh, we were just patrolling here in the metro at the Los Angeles, uh, Los Angeles, uh, LSIA in the metro station. We got a call of a, uh, 
code three officer down so we're gonna respond quickly to that and we're gonna get to him and see what's wrong over there all right so we're back in the vehicle we're just gonna respond code three to the officer down over here behind the los santos customs over here at the airport we're gonna do a to the officer down and search for the suspect oh my gosh there we're going somewhere Oh, oh, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. I think the suspects stay here. We got some backup already. Where'd she go? Oh, she's around the tree. Think suspects down. I'm approaching. They were going a different way. All right, suspects down. Where's the officer? Uh, we're gonna get EMS quickly to the scene here. Uh. Get that to the scene. I got the suspect down. They're gonna render aid to the officer first. Rightly so. I'm gonna search the body real quick, make sure she has nothing else on her. She got shot a couple times in the back. Uh, she has a drawing of Aztec tagging design. I'm uh, nothing really much. I'm gonna tint her until Emus is uh, able to get uh, on the scene here. We have local uh, FIB agents responding to this. It's going to be a lifeguard. Uh, we were shooting at the officer and us. I render aid until the CPR has failed. Alrighty. So, uh, CPR failed. We're just going to get a uh, corner en route to here. A large explosion. Uh, we're going to get corner down here. And, uh... We're gonna get this scene closed, cleared up. Hopefully they're able to render aid to that officer and uh, we'll be cut for off that call. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that patrol. I enjoyed uh, playing it, it was really fun. Uh, playing the air around here at the airport, you get some interesting calls and uh, you see some interesting folks coming out of the airport uh, in, in this area. So. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.